Life's most important and persistent and urgent question. And it's not how do I get I, me, or what's mine. Rather, the question is, what are you doing for others? That's the question before us, my sisters and brothers. And Benjamin May lived that very question. He was the president of a college, and then he took what some would say a demotion. I say it's a promotion for the dean of religious studies, shaping young minds with his time and his prime. Now, he would meet a boy at the age of 15 that would bring a nation to belief. Now, Howard Thurman, interestingly enough, uh, actually was the dean of the chapel at the University of Howard. And there Thurman met that saint boy, and he was looking for life lessons, and he became a hero because he practiced for this boy and promoted a philosophy of nonviolence, simply put, hate at a level zero. Bayard Rustin, he was born with the gift of organization, taught that boy how to mobilize a movement, how to get shoes on a pavement, him himself an activist for peace behind the scenes, an influential advisor to what was modern day kings. Pastor Vernon Johns earned his divinity degree in 1918. In a long life of uh, Baptist preachers at Dexter Avenue Church. Now he met that same boy, forthright and fearless, mighty and humble, but he refused to be segregated and named You see, May and Thurman and Rustin and Johns, these four men, and and most likely more. However, this truth they did uncover, sometimes it takes a quartet to sing when the hero maker of Dr. Martin Luther King. 